everybody, my name is Sarah Barnes, and today I will be defending the Chrysalopurla rufolibris, also known as the Green Lacewing. Hello, I'm Madison Lewis, and I will be defending Apis malferia, the honeybee. And we are debating which is more beneficial, the Green Lacewing or the honeybee. Today we are debating which is more beneficial, the Chrysalopurla rufolibris, Green Lacewing, or the Apis mellifera honeybee. The Green Lacewing is a small, slender insect with golden eyes, wings, and chewing mouth parts. Their green color helps them to camouflage themselves in the vegetation in which they live. Green lacewings are typically found in North America and have a lifespan of one to three months. Their lifespan varies greatly depending on many factors, such as temperature, humidity, and the quality of food sources in their environment. Green lacewings are immensely beneficial insects to our society, as they are a natural source of pest control. As larvae, they feed on soft body arthropods such as caterpillars, leafhoppers, mites, and even beetles that are very harmful to farmers' crops. As adults, these insects shift to eating pollen, nectar, and honeydew. Green lacewings are active during the day as, as larvae and active during the night as adults. They are able to consume around 200 insects a week while they are developing in their larva stage. Some species of lacewings are even resistant to pesticides, which means farmers can still treat their crops and not lose their extra protection from pests that come from these unique insects. As any insect, they have many natural enemies, such as spiders and dragonflies. Luckily, Green lacewings were able to protect themselves from predators by producing a foul-smelling odor to deter any possible threats. They go through complete metamorphosis, which means they start off as an egg, then they grow into a larva, and then a pupa before they reach their adult stage. These small, overlooked insects are so beneficial to our society that businesses have been developed to breed and supply them for farmers who have crops that are very high in value importance. Honeybee is a small, round, fuzzy insect that can reach speeds of up to 15 miles per hour. The honeybee contributes nearly 20 million dollars to U.S. agricultural annually. Many crops depend on the honeybee greatly for pollination, such as almonds, blueberries, cherries, broccoli, and melons. Honeybees are unique pollinators because they actively seek out flowers with pollen, because both pollen and nectar are useful to the honeybees. Pollen is brought back to the hive and is used as a source of protein for bee larvae. Honeybees even have a specific structure called a pollen basket designated for gathering pollen. Stiff hairs on the back of the bee's legs are used to brush pollen off of the bee's body and into the pollen basket. Honeybees can travel up up to three miles away from the hive, meaning that their range of pollination is huge. Another advantage of honeybees as agricultural pollinators is that their hives can easily be moved around to different areas in need of pollination. For all these reasons and more, honeybees are the best pollinators. Honeybees also provide more to mankind than just pollination. One hive of honeybees can provide up to 100 pounds of honey a year. Honeybees also produce beeswax, which can be used in various cosmetics, candles, and remedies. Although both species are very beneficial to our environments, the green lacewing is necessary to our prosperity as a society. In their early stages as larvae, they are very predaceous insects that defend farmers' livelihoods by protecting their crops. The green lacewings feed off of the same insects that destroy crops that are detrimental to our economy and well-being as a country. The crops they protect include cotton, tomatoes, pears, apples, and soybeans. Without these insects, these crops would be much more susceptible to being taken over by pests. Many of the pesticides farmers have the option of choosing from are dangerous and incapable of deterring every harmful pest from their crops. The green lacewings are a safe form of pest control and are able to eat most any soft-bodied arthropods. In addition, the green lacewings are unaffected by most pesticides, therefore making them even more beneficial to farmers due to the fact that they can still use their pesticides and have the extra protection of the lacewings to eat the pest that the pesticides did not kill. 
While the green lacewing is very effective at pest control, without pollinators, many crops would fail. For instance, almonds rely 100% on honeybee pollination. Unlike honeybees, who can fly up to 3 miles for 15 miles per hour, the green lacewing is a poor flyer. This means that lacewings must be transported as eggs or as larvae. A single honeybee hive can pollinate multiple fields in one season because a hive can be easily transported by the beekeeper. There are many challenges associated with raising lacewings. First, lacewings can be highly aggressive and cannibalistic when in close quarters. Second, lacewings' performance as a pest predator varies greatly. Some lacewings will eat only 150 insects in their entire lifetime, while some can eat up to 100 aphids a week. While there is a lot of research being done to find out, find better and more effective ways to raise and use lacewings in agricultural, lacewings are relatively new in the world of biological pest control. The art of beekeeping dates back to the 16th century. Because all of this, much is known about bees. Though bees are also very essential to society, they do not defend agricultural life as fiercely as the green lacewings do. As larvae, green lacewings' main source of nutrition comes from eating other insects. As they enter their adult stage, they shift eating more natural sources of food such as pollen, nectar, and honeydew. Therefore, lacewings also do their part in the environment by spreading around pollen, which benefits crops in addition to their pest control skills. Honeybees play a prime, prime role in pollinating crops so that they are able to grow, yet without the lacewings, there would not be many healthy crops to pollinate. Although lacewings are difficult to transport, the benefits of how they affect crop performance outweighs the hassle of transporting them. Though honeybees are important for pollination, they are not the only bees that are capable of doing that job. Every bee, in fact, pollinates quite equally. Research has shown that 50% of pollination comes from commercial honeybees, while the other 50% of pollination is done by bees from the wild. In addition, there are many other organisms that pollinate as well, such as butterflies, wasps, flying ants, beetles, and moths. While the green lacewing does contribute some to pollination, it is not a very significant amount. The green lacewing has a territory of about 100 feet meaning that they only have the chance to pollinate 100 feet worth of plants, while the honeybee has a range of three whole miles. While many other plants and animals are pollinators, honeybees are arguably the best pollinators. 80% of fruits and vegetable seed crops in the U.S. are pollinated by honeybees. The lacewing also does not directly produce any products for human consumption, while the honeybee produces both honey and beeswax. The honey industry is worth more than 150 million. Honeybees also reproduce fast. The queen who can live up to five years produces around 2,000 eggs a day. Green lacewigs only live for about five weeks and during that time can only lay about 200 eggs. Honeybees quick reproduction allows them to be effective pollinators. In conclusion, Though both insects are necessary to the well-being of our environment, the green lacewing makes more of an impact in an area of our society where it cannot be replaced. As I stated earlier, there are many different insects that can do the same job of pollinating as a honeybee can, yet very few that are able to take the place of a green lacewing. Although these tiny green insects may look insignificant, they are able to do many jobs that other insects can only do one of. They are able to protect crops from pests, even when a pesticide is involved, and pollinate when they get to their later stages. Without green lacewings, farmers would have to spend much more money every year on pesticides for their crops and run the risk of their crops becoming too saturated in dangerous chemicals. Green lacewings have many benefits to them and very few cons. I believe my species is the most beneficial due to the fact that they are able to perform many different jobs within their lifetime and make the environment a better place with every one of them. The honeybee is an irreplaceable necessity to human survival. Honeybees feed the world by pollinating crops, wild plants, and by producing honey. One in every three bites of food depends on bees for pollination. The green lacewing is very beneficial to agriculture, but it is not irreplaceable like the honeybee. Honeybees contribute $20 billion to the agriculture industry and honeybees pollinate 70% of the crop species that feed 90% of the world. 
Without honeybees, there'd be a massive shortage of food and an economic crisis. It is important to be aware of how essential honeybees are to our survival because they are currently threatened by pesticides, disease, and habitat loss. Honeybees are the most beneficial because without them, we would starve.